Welcome to section 12.3, Logarithmic Functions. Hopefully by the end of this, you all will be able to convert between logarithmic and exponential form. You'll be able to solve logarithmic equations. You'll be able to evaluate logarithms and you'll be able to graph logarithmic functions. So I know it's a lot of little things that we're gonna be doing, um, but each one really is a little thing and I know you guys can do this. So let's talk about log form and exponential form and how they're connected. Basically, logarithmic and exponential functions are inverses, which also means they're, they're kind of like opposite operations as well. Uh, so if you start out with an exponential expression, a to the x equals y, you can rewrite it as x equals the log base a of y. Basically what you're doing, in case you're wondering like, how did you get there, is that logs and exponentials are opposite operations. And so in this case, you're like, I don't want to get rid of the exponent, I want to get rid of the base. And you're like, how do I get rid of a base? And the answer is logarithms, okay? So to get rid of a log uh, of, an, of a base of A, you take the log base A of both sides. Okay, so that's actually what's happening here. And then that log base A and that base of A, they cancel out, which is kind of interesting. And you're left with the exponent of X. So X equals log base A of Y. That's, so this is the exponential form and this is the logarithmic form. Okay, and they are equivalent to each other. And if you guys are able to go back and forth between them, we're gonna have a really, really great day today. Okay, so let's practice that. Example one is convert to logarithmic form. Okay, so we start out with eight to the second power equals 64. So the base of your exponent is the same thing as the base of your logarithm. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a log base eight. Okay, so it's gonna be the same as the base from our exponential but it's gonna be of 64. And then it equals our exponent, which is two. That's what logarithmic form looks like. Okay, what if I need to go backwards? What if I have it in log form, but I'd really like to be in exponential form? Okay, so I start out with the log base five of 125 equals three. Well, the base of your logarithm is the same as the base if you were making it into an exponential, so we're gonna have a base of five. Whatever it equals over here, that's your exponent. So it's five to the third power, and then it equals 125. So that's how we go back and forth. It's like a little triangle. Five to the third equals 125, okay? Now it's your turn. I want you guys to practice these and show me how much you've learned.